for Brian Allen and Scotty Giddos. The five, a mirror girl, is Dave Smith and Lactar Ramoli. And the seven, Vino Palantina, Dave Smith and Brandon Louie. 1100 metre trial, they're making their way around to the start. Well, so Brian will be very sorely missed, and this race is named in his honour. Favouritism lies with number five, Zing to win, narrowly ahead of number three, King's Call, but starting our preview with number one, Wanna Cracker, Peter Ferning and Chanel Cooper combine here from an outside draw, 58 kilos after the claim was a maiden winner going back four starts ago and then took the step straight into Class 1 company with success, winning back-to-back -back races. Since then, has placed behind Nova Torio, went very luckless, and then last time out, didn't get the right run, couldn't find a spot, got caught deep, had to make a sustained run around them and faded out late, beaten four by Duo Musso. 28 days later, probably going to endure another tough run, but the punters have had a crack at him his last couple, so he's very well respected again in the market at $7. Number one, want a cracker. Number two, rocking the Casbah, now joins Dave Smith, Brandon Louie to ride here. Hasn't been seen at the races for a couple of months and has only had two runs this time in, one at Northam and one at Bunbury, both for Summer Dicks and... First up over 1,200, went back from a wide draw, never got into the contest, beaten seven and a half. Second up, was sent forward, sat in the breeze, but then faded out noticeably late to be beaten 11 and a quarter. 60 days later, finds himself on the gold fields. Bit of an unknown here, but some specking in markets. $31 into 15 for number two, rocking the Casbah. Number three, King's Call from the yard of Brandon Fiore. Wife Lucy to take the ride here from a very wide draw, but I thought some of the metro provincial form of this horse down in Perth was very, very good for a race like this. Resumed in a class three, beaten around a neck by Magical Gem, then went to a three-year-old no metro win, beaten two and a half by Deferred. That mare won again yesterday at Belmont Park at odds on to go three in a row, so that form is excellent. Then was beaten three and a quarter by Just Adora Bell on a fence-off day at Northam. Wrong part of the track, complete forgive. And last time out, potentially didn't overly enjoy the 1,400 metres on the heavy, but was beaten three and three quarters by Mine Host. Ten days later, heavy track to a good track. Lucy Fiore riding Kalgoorlie particularly well. I thought King's Call was the horse, to, but he will need some luck here. He goes around at $3.50. Number four, Flo Bar from the yard of Nick Thomas. Chloe has a party to ride here today. This horse has been out of form for a little while now. Won a maiden back in May of 2023, but has hardly fired a shot yet. First up 35 days ago was beaten four and a quarter by Novatorio as a 40 to one chance. Today goes around at 50 to one. Number five, Zing to win. This looks to be our clear clap market mover. Got out to a high price of $4, now into $3 and obvious favorite. Peter Fernie trains, Troy Turner rides, and it was that combination that produced his last victory as well. Now, two starts ago when he went to Kalgoorlie, the blinkers went on for the first time. He missed away badly, settled at the tail of the field, and flashed home late. He showed that run was exactly how as good as it looked in replay when winning last start, and the mare that he beat, Kalita, just bolted in the first leg of the quaddy, and she was an emphatic victor by at least three lengths ease down late. Zing to win, favourite at $3. Number six, Ruling Dame, having her second run at Kalgoorlie this preparation, had four runs down in the metro area for Danny Morton, where she flashed some potential in a West Speed Platinum behind Russian Sniper first up. Her most recent run, though, she drew barrier 14 of 14. She settled a long way off them. The back markers never really got into it until the race was all over, and Ruling Dame was just disinterested by the looks of it. 1,400, back to 1,200 metres, drawn another sticky gate, but kept safe as a $6 chance in betting. Number seven, Made My Way, Ricky Brown combines with Lactar Romilly, who's having a really good day on the gold fields, already with a double today. Expecting this mare will probably end up in the second half of the field, especially considering that she's drawn wide, but the effort last start in a higher grade behind No Whispering wasn't too bad. Does go around a $23 chance, but as we mentioned, most weeks, Lactar Romilly rides Kalgoorlie as well as anybody. Number eight, Novatorio, Peter Fernie and Zeph and Johnston Porter combine. Great to see Zeph and returning to the saddle today after a couple of months off with injury. Zeph rides this horse at 55 kilos today after his two kilo claim, and she was a winner over 1,100 in a class two only two starts ago. Last time out, she worked at a line okay at 1,400. They now split the difference, bring her back to 1,200. 
Number nine, safe wrapper, a late scratching, no available rider after Bo Edwards was not available at today's meeting to ride. So we moved to number 10 in Boondi Rocks, an on-speed type for Joe Forrest. These next couple have all got speed. Boondi Rocks has speed, so does Trigger Finger, Witch Street can show some, and Sonic Ruler. So most of the speed is at the bottom end of this weight scale. Boondi Rocks, though, hasn't won a race for 919 days, and today goes around at $19. Number 11, Trigger Finger, has his first start for Paul Tapper. Had a couple of runs for John Mason earlier in the season. Now comes into this eight weeks between outings. Very speedy type, but he does tend to find the last 150 pretty tough, and he puts in the short ones late. He's at 60 to 1. Number 12, Witch Street. Ash Grace has brought this mare back to 1,200 metres. He's put a set of blinkers back on, and he's taken the winkers off. After Cassie Martin has claimed, she's only got 53.5 kilos, and from an inside draw, she should get the right run. But it's been a little bit of a while since we've seen her best. She's at 20 to 1. Number 13, Deliberation. Zero from 30 at Kalgoorlie says it all. No wins in the last 1,000 days. Why draw? And the struggles to get a run from time to time. I think in the end that it would have preferred if this was 1,400 metres, but in the end they get balloted out a lot, so they've had to accept where they could. He goes around at 80 to 1. The final galloper here from Mac Hall's Travelling Yard is a mare by Universal Ruler called Sonic Ruler. She's drawn in barrier 6, she's got plenty of speed, Vicky Corver rides at 54 kilos, and the last couple I think are both forgives, care of the fact that she doesn't seem to handle any wet tracks whatsoever, so at back on top of a good 4 here today, you could actually get a cheeky run out of this mare, so I'd throw her into wider exotics if you're looking for some extra value. 90 seconds away from race number 6, Vale Brian Osmedi Handicap. My numbers are 3, 5, 6 and 1. King's Call is going to need a little bit of luck, but dangers zing to win and ruling dame are also likely to be off speed i thought this race probably profiled like it would be a horse is getting over the top of them three and four deep and so hopefully lucy fiori can find the right areas with king's call because some of his form at northern and pinjara is every bit as good as what he meets here today five zing to win there's pretty there's a lot of confidence in the punters that he can go back to back four dollars into three dollars and clear cut favorite Six ruling Dame never got into the contest first up. Tash Faithful will probably look to find a similar spot to my top two selections as well. And number one, won a cracker, backed heavily two starts ago and again last start and didn't get the right runs in either of them. No friends in betting today though, five out to ten. Less than a minute away from the Vale Osmeti handicap, class two, 1200. Number one, won a cracker is $10 out from five, doubled in price, 30 to one rocking the Casbah, 350 Kings Call, 70 to one for Flowbar, four into three, Zing to win work best backed, 550 ruling Dame number six, $20 made my way number seven, 950 out to 13 for Novatorio, 34 into 19, a bit of money for Boondi Rocks to give cheek, 40 to one for number 11, Trigger Finger, 20 to one Witch Street, 100 to 1 Deliberation, and 50 to 1 Sonic Ruler. Half of them have loaded away, so we'll send you the voice of the goldfields, Royce Newton, for the call of race number 6. Thanks, Scott. Yes, uh, runners are starting to come forward here. This is the Vale Brian Osmedi Handicap. For the friends and family of Brian, um, we invite you just up into the members after the running of this race. So, the family and friends of Brian Osmedi, just for a presentation and a few words, if you could make your way up into the members after the running of this race. So your favourite is Zing to win at $3, 360 Kings Call, 550 Ruling Dame, and they are the three runners in single figure odds. Here comes Deliberation into line, which leaves us three to come forward. So Bundai Rocks goes forward. Sonic Ruler now to join the line. Victoria Corva in the saddle. Thanks, Stu. Yes, runners coming forward well here for the Valet. Brian Osmedi handicap made my way, locked away. We're just awaiting Zing to win, who is at the head of the market here. $3, 3 dollars 3 90 on tote. Troy Turner was in the saddle for the Gallopers' win last time out. So Zing to win to come forward, and we will be set. For the Vale, Brian Osmedi. Stand by, 1,200 ahead of them. Ready to go, race six. 
Stand by, Kalida to be alive in the quaddy. Signal given, there we go, gates fly back. Now Ruling Dame straight out the back door with early speed, Bundai Rocks going forward. Likewise with Flow Bar and also up there early on pushing forward, it's Witch Street and just ahead of those we've got Trigger Finger. They all being followed by Zing to Win who gets into a nice position, a further two and a half, then to Sonic Ruler in the clear, being followed by Rocking the Kaz Bar, then Deliberation, the inside Wanna Cracker being followed by Novatorio, King's Call a long way ba back together with also Ruling Dame and at the tail it's Made My Way so they're on the side of the course, 600 metres to run, and it's Flow Bar showing the way. Flow Bar from Trigger Finger the outside, then Bundai Rocks who covers up Witch Street. Then we had Zing to win the favourite who's just stalking the leading division. They've opened up a good four lengths then to Wanna Cracker, Deliberation. Then we had Sonic Ruler down on the inside, Novatorio and heading the remainder King's Call, but they're into the straight now. And it's Flow Bar being tackled by Trigger Finger, but here's Zing to win. It's Zing to win who hit the lead quickly, pulling away with 100 metres to run. And Zing to win, have a look at this. This is a demolition, a sprinting masterclass. And Zing to win justifies favouritism, wins by six second across the line king's cool call third was bundai rocks they were followed in by novatoria witch street made my way then we had flow bar want a cracker they were followed in next of all by ruling dame next then trigger finger rocking the kaz bar a big break then to sonic ruler and what deliberation was one of the last Well, five zing to win at about the 1,000 metre marker. There was only one horse that you really wanted Number to five. be on because those leaders... Zing to win. That was in Makes the... it back-to-back -back wins on the Goldfields and uh, Troy Turner forming a good partnership with this four-year-old. Zing to win indeed. It went straight past that leading division. And... Uh, Gave them Winburn, six and a half lengths, the margin. Big win. We've seen a couple of big wins. Kalida was a big win as well. Zing to win the five wins from three. King's Call, long way back, made up ground. Lucy Fiore, Brandon Fiore. Ten will get third. That is Bundai Rocks. So a placing there for Bundai Rocks, an improved effort. And fourth about to be semaphored into the frame. Five, three, ten, and a photo at this point in time. One ten seventy three. The winning gallop, but uh, that was an absolute belting. Eight gets fourth. That's Novatorio. So it's five, three, ten, eight. The numbers across the line in the Vale Brian Osmedi. Six and a half by a long neck. The winning gallop. One ten seventy three. That brings up a treble for Peter Fernie and Troy Turner gets his name on the winner's list this afternoon with a perfect ride. Could not have ridden that better. And uh, this horse annihilates its competition in the sixth. Just a reminder, family and friends of Brian Osmedi, if you'd like to join the committee in the uh, members uh, after this race, so make your way up there now. Uh, for a presentation after the Vale Brian Osmedi. 5, 3, 10 and 8. The numbers zing to win for Peter Fernie, Troy Turner by shooting to win from Cold Fact. Owned by the Lightning Bloodstock Syndicate, Pierce Racing Syndicate, M Pink, Miss S Underwood, M Nitschke, C Pekovic, also D Pekovic, then also the Lightning Bloodstock Syndicate, the Cold Fact Syndicate, Al Kerr, Zamps, also Al Hawkins, Al Anderson, K Lally, A Jane Away, Swamp Racing Syndicate, D Terrell, B O'Sullivan, Mrs G McCormick, L Martin and Mrs J Anderson, host of owners there celebrating the win of Zing to Win. Second in was King's Call for Brandon Fiore, Lucy Fiore by King's Troop from Callis, owned by the Fiore Park Syndicate, Justin Warwick, T Walton, C George and J Panetta. Third in was the 10, that's Bundai Rocks for Joe Forrest and Lisa Staples by Snippetson from Ruby's Choice, owned by Glenn Forrest. And fourth in was the 8, Novatorio, Pete Fernie and Zepp and Johnston Porter. 5, 3, 10 and 8, interim after the running of race number 6. Race 7 is the feature. It's the Terra Drilling, Cambelda Cup. Over the 1,400 metres, 10 past 4 is the start time. And what a cracker of a field we've got here. Your favourite is uncompromised at 280. 